Good afternoon, everybody. Good afternoon. How are you? I am Jack Pepin. Hit my daughter Claudine. Hello. And my granddaughter Shari. <laughs> We're all going to cook together because it's important to cook with your kid, you know, to eat with your kid, to be together. This is what Spoon Across America is all about. So I want to show you how to make crepe. Very easy. And how long it takes. You see, first I put that on. I'm going to put a little bit of oil in there to warm it up. This is a candela organic oil. I have a bit of flour, a couple of eggs. When this is hot, this will be ready to go. So you see how long it takes. One minute or so. Okay, a little bit of milk. And then while he's doing that, I'm going to cut some vegetables. But honestly, it'll take like 10 crates before I cut one zucchini. But I still eat with my... We have the vegetable out of the garden here. The chef gave it to you, right? Spinach out of the garden over there. So you want to mix your batter so that it's thick like this. If it's thick, then it doesn't form any lump. Then you can put more liquid. But if you put the liquid right away, it forms lump, and then you have problems. So this is very thin, about like cream, you know, like heavy cream, maybe a little more. Okay, now I put a bit of oil in there too. And crepes are great. I know everybody loves quesadillas and everybody loves all kinds of stuff, but crepes are great because they can be sweet, they can be savory, and they can be made instantaneously, and they actually keep pretty well too. So it's that, really nice, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. That's it, you see one little of this, and I have a big crepe. People say you should buy a crepe pan. Well, a crepe pan is very small, it's about four ounces. This is like 12, and it makes a big crepe. Instead of doing three per person, you give one, that's it. Makes your life easier. And as you can see, with those two eggs, half a cup of flour, I probably can do 20 crepes. So if you divide that, I mean, it's basically nothing in terms of calories. And that's what we're going to stuff it with berries, with a good organic jam. That's what my mother used to do when I was a kid, and that's what I do for her, right, when she comes to the house. Claudine, yep. you want to put some vegetables to cook in there? I'm working on that. Okay, you know what, Shari? Shari? You're going to put those uh, spinach in there. Can you this is spinach in, in there? there. Okay. No, don't. Yeah, no, there is liquid in it, so put it out like this. This is yellow, this is white, actually, white, uh, white Swiss chard from the garden there, and those are spinach from the garden. Uh, to lift up your crepe, you know, you can grab the end of it like this. Up, and turn it, but as you can see, this is a, a big crepe, of course. We have a lot of wind here, and that's Sweetie, why... Careful. Uh, I gotta get behind you. Oh, this is not on. Not on. But I still have to drop this in there. I don't think maybe it's empty this one. No, that's it, it's on. It's on? Okay, so we have a big crepe here as you can see. Could brown a little more, you know. I have some here that I did before which are more brown. Okay. See a big crepe like that, you stuff it with uh, with berries and, and it's very it's nice. So stuff. now, the secret of doing crepes, I have about two ounces here. I put it in one of the corner and have to pour very, very fast and shake the pan. So even if it's not totally full, like it is here, it's all right, you know, put a couple of drops where you have some missing and it's fine. And it's the better to put less than more. And the reason he's saying to go into the side is because it'll spread. If you put it in the center, it won't spread, and it'll make like a lot of lattice work all over the place, and it's much harder to fix. So does that make sense? We gave that demonstration this morning, and Mrs. Obama came, and she yeah. ate one of those big crepes filled up with the jam, you know? Yeah. I was really proud. I was even kissed by the first lady. That will stand my mind. <laughs> okay, a little bit of jam. I put to spread it out like this. Black pepper. Then we'll put some berry in it, right? And strawberry. Why don't we put some blueberry? You love the blueberry, right? Sh Shari loved the blueberry, so we put the blueberry in there. 
Maybe even a bit of dry, dry dates. Oh, dates. Oh, what? And then we fold that. You want to get me a tray, sorry, for, to put that on? Sorry, can you go down and get Papi a tray down there? Thanks. That's a big crepe. Yeah, okay, let's turn this one now. That might be in there. Good. All right. Um, then we can stuff one food. with vegetable. Tiens, tu me la donnes là? Tu me la donnes là? Give Papi the tray. Merci, ma chérie. There you go. Okay. Okay. So here I have a big crepe so here. Pull a couple of As the you flowers, can see, stuff with the, the berries. Thyme, flowers, just a couple, and put them in there. So these vegetables, Up. these vegetables can Up. be. <laughs> Up. <laughs> well, just the leaves, though, baby. Okay. Just like we do at home. A third crepe. Yeah. You see, uh, on purpose, I'm going to put just a little bit here, and I spread it as fast as I can. And now it's it full, but it's so, so it doesn't matter. I put a little more. It's better to do that than to put too much because your crepe will be too thick, you know? That's it. I think that's probably just perfect, you know? Yes. So this is cooking. You want to put a little bit of salt on I that. Did. You did. I put salt so and a little good. bit of pepper. Look at the beautiful sure, flowers. Some, some flowers from, in there. She put yeah, some this is thyme. thyme from the garden also. A beautiful stuff in the garden. You want to cut an asparagus in there? Between I will, the tip? if you like. Good. And these are Another beautiful crepe white asparagus. So the best place for a kid when he comes back home after school is to go to the kitchen, you know? And there is the most comfortable part of the house, the kitchen. And he can hear his father, the mother is cooking, the noise of the kitchen, the smell of the kitchen. That stay with you the rest of your life, you know? That's very important. And um, this is what I did when I was a kid. This is what my daughter Claudine is doing with Shuri. We stir though. We eat together every night. We sit together. We, well, I do most Shuri, of the cooking. My husband the the chef, chef. So he's at the restaurant. Put some tomato in there. Put some tomato in there. Yes. You know, baby, you gotta cut them in half or in quarters or something. Okay. See, I have Two another big three. crepe. Three. Okay. Here, I'm gonna uh, give them to you. Can you put them in the pan, please? That's it. See? So we cook really simple stuff and on a budget, and but we always cook from scratch, real food, easy food, wholesome food, and that's really the message of Spoons Across America. It's not about spending a fortune on your food, it's just about having really, really good, good quality food and quality time with your family. A yes. little chicken breast takes what, 45 seconds, pound it out, you're done. It's easy and very healthy. You see that crepe batter is very thin. And when it's very thin like that, you do what we call a crepe dentelle. Dentelle means lace in French. And you can see the outside like a lace, tiny hole all over. That's very thin. OK, again, here is another And every crepe. time I do this with the frying pan, the crepe always falls down. I don't know why it doesn't for him. So you can see the time it took me to do the crepe was the time it took me to get the oil a little hot. I mixed a couple of eggs, flour, and that was done oh in one, like one minute. We don't need the scallions anymore. Though. So, you know, people say, can I freeze it? Yes, you can, but frankly, it takes much longer to defrost than to make a new one, you know. Okay, again, the berry. Although, sweetie. Mm. Maybe we should give that? those to a little kid somewhere, right? Oh, no, I'll put this, I'll huh? put this in mine, and then you can have it later. Here. There you go. That's a big Claudine, crepe. Claudine, what do you think? I think. Whatever you think, I think. What did you say? OK, I think we should <laughs> give that to a little kid somewhere. Oh. Someone should have a little piece of that, right? I'm going to stuff another one, and yeah. this one I'll do with there. vegetables. You know what? Give me a tray. You have there. the tray. You can cut yeah, it in half. Yeah, this way you have somewhere else. Yeah, you don't have to put any butter. Even oil in between, I didn't put anything. Sorry, this is a non-stick pan, and it's very good for that. Again, I do one. Claudine is going to divide it. A bit more jam. Careful with that, please. OK, well, for the moms, I'm sorry if the berry juice gets on your children's clothes. OK? because I'm the mom and she's already covered in berry juice. 
You can put chocolate in there, you can put uh, just <laughs> sugar and butter. Thank you for showing everyone. Know. Yeah, another big one, Claudine. Sorry, tu veux les distribuer? Tu veux descendre? You, you cut it in half, yeah, and maybe Shuri will Here. go down and, and, and give... And you know what? I bet, I bet Mr. Yosis will help you, and you can maybe go in the front there and give them to some of the kids. Oh, he just told everybody that he was doing it. Good. So this one with the vegetable here. Papa. Yes. Papa. Yes. The, the people that work here said that we're not allowed to give the food out. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, that's OK. She's got it. It's over there if anybody wants. There's like four pieces. Sorry. We're get, we'll be in big trouble. <laughs> Dear mom, got kicked out of the White House. Okay, a little bit of cheese on that one. Cheese and then the vegetable. Spinach, tomato. And here, you can probably, you can put it on this side. And these are just all whatever the vegetables you all have at home. Yes. Big vegetable. Thing there, and I'll do yeah, another sorry, one. Sweetheart. We're not allowed to give them out anymore. I have enough here to do another one, Shari, right? Whoop! Yeah. Shari loves her vegetable. Yes, she does. She eats more vegetable than her grandpa. That's right? true. All right, I'm going to. Oh, you turned it off already? Yeah, I just turned okay. it off. Okay, Perfect. so I'll put a little bit of cheese okay. here, Claudine. You better eat this one because I think it's going to be your dinner. And this too. <laughs> That's it. So all those Here little leftover, are. like you have a half a carrot and some cucumber, which cooks really, really nicely, by the way. Um, you can put all kinds of stuff, that little bit, six different little smidges of grated cheese and stuff, whatever you have. And that's it. That's how you make crepe, and that's how you eat with the kid. And you... Uh, it is good to try to have them do it too. So uh, it the is pan is a little uh, is a little big for Shori, yeah. Yeah. Yes. You want to do that one? Did you want me to? Do, uh, okay. okay. So like I'm so the, the one. I like cooking, but I'm a mom, and so I the whole thing oh, okay. I'm pouring the whole thing, and I tend to make mistakes. So. At least when, I, when he says you can fix it, it's true. You really can because I've made every single mistake you can. That's good. There we go. No, it's not. And I know it's it not. It is splendid, <laughs> Titin. There you go. Magnificent. The scrape you have ever seen. Yes. That's not true. I did it. No? I've done worse? But here it is. A little bit of crepe with, uh, with the jam here. Sorry, Sorry. did you want that or Tell did you want people. it plain? Plain. She wanted okay. it plain. Want I wanted this one. Okay. We can. And also, what you can do when you're doing the when you're doing the crepe, and believe me, if I can do this, anyone can. Is you can kind of just move the edge of the crepe when it starts to brown, and you can grab it lightly with your fingers, Two fingers. and turn it that way. So, of course, I'm ripping mine, but. Uh, that's it. Perfect. And there we go. My daughter is perfect. <laughs> oh, well. Only because I'm the daughter. But it's fun to cook with your family, and it's fun to cook with your friends, and it's fun to do birthday parties with the kids and have them really cook as opposed to just eat pizza and do some really fun stuff. Plant a garden. And if you'd like more information, please go to Spoons Across America online, and I'm sure they have lots and lots of information to tell you about the organization. It's great to see the kid in the garden, you know, where the stuff you comes in from. The garden. Most people think that a chicken is rectangular with plastic on top that doesn't have any feet, no head, or whatever. I don't no, so it's good. The kid can see a rabbit, a chicken, the tomato are growing, you test it there, and uh, you cook together. The so best place to be around the table, you know. So thank you so much for coming and hanging out with us. Thank you. My father, my daughter and I, thank you so much. Have a wonderful rest of your Easter Monday here at the White House. And cook with your family. Yeah. And eat good food. And thank you to the chefs. All you. the chefs did the work yeah, for us. Yeah, they before. really did everything. <laughs> <laughs>
And thank you to Mrs. Obama, Kim Simi, and the president. Yeah, you're thank thanking you. her because she kissed you. I'm having. <laughs>